Good morning, people. I'm just come here at Tanvik. I've just pulled up here. Uh, I've got a recall on this, uh, you know, this hub job I did on this little van here. Look, I did a, a hub on it there, uh, fitted a new hub and drive shaft, uh, but it's got a leak apparently. So it's a recall, isn't it? So let's have a look, see what boo boo I've made here because it's had a new hub and seal on it, so it shouldn't really be leaking, but apparently it is leaking on the wheel. I hope it's a half shaft. Let me get my torch on the job. Hmm, it is leaking there, isn't it? And by the looks of that, it's not the half shaft, by the looks of that, it's coming out that hole there, look. Which means it's the inner hub seal, because that's what them holes are designed to do, let the oil out of here, instead of letting it onto the brakes when the inner hub seal goes. So yeah, I've got to have this apart then, Anta, and see what the crack is. Just trying to think why that would happen when it's a new hub seal. I don't know, but either way, I need the hub off now. So let's just go trip down. I'm just going to jack this up a bit higher so the oil doesn't piss out here, I'm hoping. No, I don't know about this show. Me and Al was just contemplating. Hey, look, Al's here, look. Hello, they haven't, Al. They haven't been on YouTube for a bit because uh, it's too much hard work. <laughs> got enough yeah. problems, Al, haven't we? <laughs> got enough problems, right, YouTube? <laughs> it's on its way. It's, it's on, on its way. way. It's on its way. Christmas yeah. is as well, but... Yeah, Christmas <laughs> is next year. Me and I was just talking, look, it's on the taper, this is, look. And Al, what's them holes there, look? Them holes are where the oil goes. So it's in this... The oil, if it comes past that seal, the oil goes out in that dish and then it comes out to the front of the hub but mm, i don't know why that's done that i mean oh no i'll take that i'll take that off mm, yeah so that's the explanation <laughs> isn't it has it been pushed is it not pushed in enough oh, hang on look because look on there look look it looks like it's been polishing the bit that it don't sit on in it Ah, have I not pushed it in enough, Al? Is that the problem with it? I know you've got the seal right up, but yeah, does it need sitting back down Yeah, does again? it need sitting back down again? Because the looks of that lot, it's been riding. It's, yeah, because it it wants to sit there, don't it? Yeah, it, it wants right? to sit there on that on that polished bit lot, and it's not lot, it's been polishing its own bit there. Yeah, but so I that wonder only if one that... edge of it? That's only one edge of it. The other edge is going to be on that. Yeah, but not really, lot. It's only a, it's like about it's the here, width of it. it. Well, I know you see, it could be. I'll get an ammo and punch. The only other thing you could try and do is you know if you took a rough measurement and yeah, then, then really ished it up. It on and then just give you a, a, an issue. Well, that would be a measurement look from where the bearing is, where the bearing is up to here, to then the seal there. Oh, yeah. Let's just yeah. get an ammo and punch, see if that goes down. I'm going to get an ammo and punch. And thank you to the person again for giving me these hammers, these thing is, what they call them, what they call them, dead blow hammers. Yeah. Give me three, I don't know who did it again, down, down, left the notar out. No. no. Mysterious. I bet that's where I've done a boo-boo, you know. I haven't pushed that seal down enough. I bet that's where it is. But the looks of that polishness on there. Let's find out. It goes down more. Wow, you, it don't butt up to out, man. I've pushed it all the way down now, look. Look, just that black seal, look, has gone down, look. So it does go down more. Right, I'm gonna take that seal out. You'll have to order a new seal, because it's a waste of time putting it back together. And then I'll just have to push it down more. I'll, I'll measure from that bearing uh, to to where, like from there, to where it's got to sit on that polished bit there. And then I'll I'll distance the, the new seal according. My boo-boo, I'll have to pay for the seal and my time and my labour and every other cost. At least it's not a big job, could be worse. You've got to show your failures as well as your triumph. And there's a lot of failures in this game. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of failures in this game. Oh dear. 
Anyone that doesn't have failures is a liar, I'm afraid. It's either that or it's really, really, really amazing because everybody makes mistakes. That's how we learn, isn't it? That's how I've learned anyway. If you're perfect, well done to you. That's what I say. Oh, do I have to have this off? I have to have this off, don't I? Oh, this is a bizarre idea, isn't it? Do they do it so you have to bend that? In it to get it off, and then you have to buy a new one of them, a new ABS sensor, and a new ring where it sits on because they don't leave recesses in to get a fly bar to lever it out in the piss hole. There's nothing around here, look. Look, there's nothing around it, look. Nothing, nothing at all. No recess in the note to lever it out. So, the only way you're getting that out is by whacking it with a freaking hammer, isn't it? Oh, and then you need a whole new seal, uh, and then you need a whole new ABS ring and that and that thing. Freaking Jesus. Who designs this shit, really? Why would you? Why not just have that bigger to, and have that bigger just so you can get the bloody seal out? Or have it smaller, the seal. Whatever. Just someone else but this. Oh, I just took the door out of it. Right, so that's what I need then. I need one of them now, so I don't just need the hub seal. So that's good, like, yeah, good design, I like that, so it costs you more money, push day. I like stuff like that. I like the way they do that, because then they earn more money, you see, don't they? Clever of them, innit? I like that. Right, let's go in there, uh, give Pete the 411. I don't know where that comes from, 411. What's that off? A movie or something? Where have I heard that from? Sounds like a police movie or something, 411. Sounds code for something. It must be like giving the lowdown for, I don't know. Right, let's just give, let's just tell him what's happened. Uh, yeah, he's going to order them bits what I need. I'm going to have to come back through that. And uh, now we're going. Me and Leodag's going to see our Joe Bilton. He's the one with the lorry museum. He owns the lorry museum. It's not really a museum. He just collects old lorries uh, and old vans and vehicles and that. Uh, I've got this to fit on it. It's for the fuel pump. It's a stopper. I had a problem with this last year. Tried to diagnose the problem. Couldn't diagnose it. It's on a little little van thing, pickup thing. So uh, we've got a new one of these. The old one's in there, look. It all fell apart and that when I took it out of the pump because he wasn't getting no fuel up or... He was getting fuel up, or I can't remember. It's last year, wasn't it? So, long time ago. So, me and Leodag's going to go and take a trip there. Now, aren't we, Leos? Poor Paul. Poor Leodag. Let's get on. Welcome, everybody, to Joe Bilton's Classic Lorry Museum. Hey! Oh look, he's got another project on to go here. He has some projects that Joe does, doesn't he? I tell you what, each time I come here, there's something that's new here. It'll soon have to open this museum, when it is truck museum, surely. <laughs> it's not really a truck museum, he just collects them. Well, it would be though, wouldn't it? He's got enough vehicles here, hasn't he? Maybe yeah, I can open his own little museum here. There he is, look, the museum maker, yay! All right, Joe. Making his own museum, one truck at a time. You've got a new added addition here, Joe. <laughs> he got a couple. <laughs> oh my God, he keeps collecting these trucks. You'll have to have your own museum, Joe, here. One day, hey, one day. You won't have to do, mate. Latest acquisition. Hey? Latest one. What's this then, Joe? This Tell is... us the history of this bad boy. Well, it's either an A-series or an LV. A little roly poly engine in. Yeah. And it stops, starts. And no a no cab tilter. No, no, unfortunately it's just old school flip the lid. It stops and starts, does it this one? Yeah. Clutch is sticking on it, but we'll sort that out when it's painted. Why is you reckon the clutch is sticking in? Do you reckon it's like the bearing in here or something? Like the, the thing in there, the linkage. Yeah, it's been stood. The guy who had it wedged the clutch to a bit of wood. Right. And then when we took it off. It stayed there. It stayed there. So, uh, <coughs> turn the brakes off, put it on low loader, and there she is. Just in the process of... Refurbing? Yeah, some crazy cat put some uh, massive black paint on it, and it's really... What, thick? Yeah, and it's, so I've took it down to bare bones. Starting again? Yeah. We've done a few bits to the gym back. What's the inside like? Here is a medic. Very plain. Very basic. Very basic. Where are the seats? He took them out, then? Yeah, they're going for refurb. Uh, there's a guy doing that. Uh, what year is this? 73? Yeah, year of manufacture, 74. 73. 74. Oh, no, 73. Yeah, it's on an M. Oh, 74. Yeah. 
manufacture 73 though. Mm. Yeah, sure. 70s. Good as gold, mate. Another one, Chad, to the collection, people. Lot. What else you got then, Joe? Oh, I've got a little Marseille van, new service van. Oh, is this a new service? That's what that thing is out of what I've got. It's out of that Bedford. This, this, uh, that stopper. Uh, oh, a little Maestro. Yeah, uh, petrol, make sure you put yeah, petrol. It's not a diesel. It's petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put that to remind yourself, petrol, this is? Yeah. Eh? Hey? Yeah, well, uh, it's an easy mistake to make. You've got to do diesel, isn't it? But this... Where do you find all these odes? Oh, I had a right result on this. The, the modern generation don't realise about one of these little things called a choke. All oh, right, yeah. So, in their wisdom, they put new... Uh, what, because they can't start it? it. Can't start it. Won't <laughs> run, won't run, fucking run, anyway. And then, yeah, blokes, so I don't know, I don't want to run, I'll put a new spark plugs and crap in it like that. And... Uh, it still won't start. It still won't start. It'll, it'll turn over and it'll fire and then it'll just go. So, so right, mate. Okay, so we just put a new one of them in. Yeah. New filter service, new battery. Still can't get the bloody thing running right. It's all right. All right. <laughs> Bloke rocked up at eight o'clock at night on Friday. Yeah, I've brought his fan. Right out. It won't start. Right out. Rolled it off. He buggered off. Thought, well, I'll quick look. We torch out. Oh, there's a chow there, pull that back. Straight on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. I hope this bloke ain't looking at this for this video. <laughs> He'll want more money off it. Sorry, mate, it's your fault. Oh, she's a beauty. And she runs like that. Lovely oh. fairing. Oh, that's good, that is. Sounds nice, Joe, at all, doesn't it? Sounds lovely, in fact. <laughs> Newspaper, it's not the way it's going. It's the way you put it afterwards. So, uh, ah, she'll be good as new, she will. Is this going to be your new service van, Joe? Service vehicle, yes, yes. There's the hell. Yeah, I like if you haven't had an update on Joe's vehicles yet, look. Here they all are. All working, Joe, aren't they? Well, apart from that one. Oh, well, they are all working, aren't they? Apart yeah, from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. It's got that scam, that's a scam under there, isn't it? Yeah. That's scam under there. Got the old Leyland there, look. Bloody museum here, boys and girls. Oh, is that a grey Fergie? No. no. Oh, no, mate. No collection. No collection. Is without oh. a grey Fergie. And it's petrol. Petrol? Yeah. Is it just petrol then? Just not petrol, not yeah. petrol and paraffin? Yeah, another one, look. No, oh, I'm no. looking for an engine for mine. I've got a petrol and paraffin one, and apparently, what volts this one? I have no idea, because I, I, you know it's been stood for a while, so I, I'm, I reckon the battery would be flat, so I don't want to jump it up for 12 volts. Yeah, because so apparently there's 12 volts. and there's, there's 12 and 6 volt, mm. and they've got a different mounting to the to the to the gearbox apparently yeah, to the bell has it. As I say, I've got that T20. I need an engine for it, but we're having trouble finding one because. It's a petrol and paraffin, yeah, and the, yeah. the quite rare apparently. Because oh, I, no, I, I was going to change it for a diesel. I thought, oh, a diesel yeah. engine would be better. Will it not fit? No, apparently it won't fit. The diesel yeah. engine ones won't fit it. A, a normal and a petrol one, one won't fit. Won't well, it? sorry. Uh, yeah, petrol will fit, but it depends if it's 12 or 24 because it's got different mountains on it. So, yeah. oh, I don't know. Well, the 6 or 12. Uh, 6 or 12, 6 or 12 volt, yeah. yeah. Even got a bit of agriculture in yeah, there, you see? We don't just specialise in the, in, the, in, Sun, in classic lorries. It's Sunday afternoon, we'll just irritate you. <laughs> with their, with their yeah. burger, okay. All right, so this is what I've got here, is the new fuel stopper. Obviously, that's the old one there. Uh, we don't we don't know whether this is the problem with it all along, but what happened last time, when I took it off, I lost the freaking spring out of it. In here, you've got to be very careful. There's a spring under that black thing. And I lost the spring, didn't I? <laughs> Somewhere on the floor here it is. We search high, we search low. Everywhere we search, this spring wasn't there. So let's not lose this new spring. Uh, let's put it back together and then we'll turn her over and see what we've got coming out there. Because we're starting back from square one again, aren't we? Let's just try. Oh, I don't want to lose this bloody spring, yo. Big fans of yours, great construction, you know. Oh, mate. Yeah, you have to big, big shout out to Daniel. Daniel, Grove construction, mate. Well done, mate. Oh, that's it. A bump start. Yeah, and it bumped all right. Yeah, and as soon as you bumped it, mate, it, it run, but then it, you turn it off and then it won't go again until your bump starts. Would it turn over, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, go on. I bet that don't work. We might need a better jumper and all, Joe. Yeah. Don't sound the best, does it? No. It is doing it, though. Look, like Christian out. Look, I'll just track that banjo off. It does work. I didn't think that pump worked, but it does. Yeah. That is paint stripper or something. Something's like that. The diesel smells nothing like diesel. Let's drain the system out. Start okay. from fresh. Okay. Isn't it? Because that ain't diesel. And look at it, look. It evaporates, look. Diesel don't evaporate like that. I have to drain the tank, won't we? Yeah. What's the tank smell like? Where's the tank? Let's have a yeah, sniff right. of the tanky tank. tank. You're going to hit the wood down there, I think. Do. Yeah. Prop, we'll prop that. Never work under an unpropped body. Ah, oh, safe, safe, never, safe, never, people. Never. Don't smell anything like diesel, does it? No, that sounds like, it sounds like bloody wet varnish, don't it? Yes, look at that, look, people. Proper propping that. Shows on a proper number on us there. All right, drain all this out, start again from fresh, innit? Because that ain't right, that diesel. I don't know how it's turned so bad so quick because I didn't recognise it, unless I just didn't smell it note last time, but. Very rare that I don't smell diesel, obviously it's covered in the unit. I don't really know what's happened here, I'm sure. Can we go, Dad? Can we frame it? Is that enough? I think that'll be enough. I think that'll be enough for me. I'm not going to put the filter on, we're just going to lift pump it, try and lift pump that fuel up first. Like that. Right, now let's bleed it out of here. Is it up top? Yeah, it's blood through to that bit. Right, switch ignition on, Joe. On. Yeah, there's only 10 volts there. Yeah, that battery's not regressed, is it? No. Let's get some jumpers on it. Not enough of a is there? Right, no. well, got the old bus on it now. Right, go on, Joe, give it another go now. Yeah. Yep. I just traced the inlet pipe and there's the mechanical lift pump. There, look. So this flopsy bunny bit of rubber here that's all perished in that. Obviously not leaking, but look at it all. It's like that goes from the tank to here. It goes to this rubber pipe, it goes from a plastic pipe to this rubber pipe, then to this pump, and then out of this pump. So by rights, when he turns it, if I take this pipe off here, when he turns it over, it should be puddering out diesel there if this is working. So let's take this pipe off and let's see whether it's... Yep. Yeah. No, she's getting fuel pumping out there. I've just checked. I've got 14 volts coming out of my batteries there. And I've only got 11.5 coming out of that thing there. So I'm going to take them and go straight to the battery. Well, that's taking more juice out of the bus because I can hear the old thing go... So let's see what we've got now. See if it turns over a bit more spicier. It's not very spicy, is it, turning over? Oh, we're a bit more spicy now, people. Still no fuel, though. Still no fuel coming out of that pump. Yeah, it's clicking in. Switch it off. No, I just tried it again. Just tried it with the injectors. Tried to put some go-go juice down there. Nothing. It's like it's not turning over. It's turning over, but not very fast. We're going to get the tyres sorted. Uh, and uh, we're going to try a bump style. Hey, Joe? Yeah. We can't but try, can't we? Yeah. We'll try it with Diddy's pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that starter motor a bit lazy? Is it the fuel pump? That's the fault. Has it just got air locked in it? It should be simple. It's the most simplest vehicle ever, and it's it's, it's mind puzzling me. To be continued, this one, guys. I had to wash my coats. Look at the thingy. I'm back here at Tanvik. Say hi, people. Hello, everybody. I'm back here at Tanvik, repairing my mistake of my hub seal leaking. Hey. <laughs> yeah, these these here. Like, I had to get them washed at a. Uh, at Morrison's, like in a car park, there's like big washing machines there because these were covered in uh, in gear oil. 
And our missus is like, I'm not, you're not putting them in the washing machine. It's like, all oh, right, what do I do with them? She took them out and put them in there. So whoever's going to use the washing machine after me is going to smell like gear oil. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't use them washing machines at Morrison's boys. <laughs> They'll be stinking of gear oil. Look, look what I've got, look people. New toy. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. It's heavy and all that is. You know what that is, look, don't you? Gel test. You know when I went on that uh, podcast uh, the other week? Where did professional struggler come from then? God knows, because I struggle a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's it as a simple as that. It really I is. I struggle a lot, I've been doing yeah. it a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've heard the right to be a yeah. professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It did me a good deal on it, so I thought I'd have one. I think they should be 550 quid. So how good it is, I do not know. Because obviously I use my top dom, but that's only 12 volt. This is 12 and 24 volt. It's got a little USB B stick here holder. It's got a fag lightery job and it's got a light there. And that's about it, but it weighs some. Bloody hell, it's got, not, you know, like me, me top knob. You can hold it with one finger, like that, bloody hell. So we'll see how that goes, won't we, in the future. And as well, what else have I got? What else was I gonna tell you? I was gonna tell you something. Else. Leo's is there, <laughs> like he's there. That's it, I found a torch the other day. Do you know how often do you leave your torches uh, on a job, you know the, mag the magnet torches. Well, I, I was going down the road the other day with the kids, and I said to the kids, "I'm sure I just just a torch outside the road," and it was this one, not fully charged as well. Look. So that's my own back now. You see, of, of the hundred torches I've lost, I finally got one back. And whoever's it is, it's mine now. <laughs> Unfortunate for you, it's mine. Right, I've just hit that in now, but that needs going further. That needs to be hit in. I've just got Pete's vernier thing here. I'm going to break for him. There, look. That needs to go to there, look. Because before, I had it going all the way up to there before, the seal. And that's what food barred it up. So I mentioned it needs to go there, look. That's where the end needs to live. So by rights, I need to push that seal down to there, look. So it just needs to be pushed down another... Ooh, a few mil in it. Why didn't they just flush that off like lower? And then you just push it straight down to, to the. I don't know. Just seems bizarre to me. Yeah, that's all right. I'll just try and make sure I'm not I'm level like, but it looks level. Look, Pete's been getting his tools from Little Look, and he Parkside. They're all right, you know, these, these, these Parkside stuff are. They're not a bad tool at all, I don't think, can I? Little on quality, big on price. <laughs> and let's put it back on. Oh yeah, I've got to put the other bit on it, yeah, haven't I? Silly man. <laughs> there, now I'll put it back together. Every day is like survival. Ah! It is here, Peter, in excellent condition. The Parkside Vernier has done its job. I, I thought you watched him. I don't subscribe to you. Oh, fucking hell. He watches you. What's the point of not being subscribed? Wow. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Watches my channel, but he's not subscribed. Apparently, people and all are getting desubscribed off my channel without desubscribing. I don't mate, you alright? I did, thank you. Yeah, I like watching your stuff. I started watching one, it was on um, shitty brake discs. I went, alright, John. SF, fucking hell, that was ages ago, that one, eh? On the SF ones that you fucking drilling them out. Oh, this is the SF. Fucking get one wired up with them. So I've got rid of my clothes, they're so back to them, yeah. Are you going in there? Don't fucking blame you. If I never see one again, I'll fucking be happy. Oh, I've had a word with Andy. He's a, he's a, he's a owner driver. Ah, ooh, what's that trying on there? Fucking hell. Oh, you fuck. Out there, look. Button right in my knee. Oof. I don't hate that. Funny bone. Oh. Don't think that button would hurt that much, but it does. Right, let's get this together. Come on. Just making sure there's no towel slot. There's no scores on it. There's nothing foul in it where that seal goes. It's got to have been that, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got to have been that, Chris. Just, come on. I still want it to happen again, you know what I mean? Turn, baby, on the summer night A shot of love and a spark of love to be 
starts to lighten and the month times nine burn like the ground out of leaves. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on. Let's ride this train. This has been a big good gun. What Baz giving this M M7? Uh, well, I said on the comments, because I left it out in the rain when I was doing Dave's thing. I just left it like that and it got piss wet through. Uh, but all I'm doing is a durability test, obviously, isn't it? So it has to be, like, you know, waterproof, doesn't it? And it is waterproof because it still works. So charge still works and that's so beautiful. It's a good bit of kit, really, this M7. I like it. It's well built, like, you know what I mean? It's, like, heavy. Heavy's good. Heavy's reliable. If it doesn't work, you can always throw them at it. Right, that job's done now. It's done now, Leah Deck, that job. <laughs> You've seen him, he's there. He ain't got his booster seat. Uh, yeah, done now, that job is. That's what you're saying in here, that uh, B&Q at Newark, they've got them EV charging points and someone's been and nicked the, <laughs> the, the, the lance thing off it, the, the charging cable. Must be made out of copper or something, isn't it? So it must be worth a bob or two, so I bet they thought, oh, we'll have them snip them off. It's all safe, is it? Right, uh, yeah. That's it then, guys. Done. Hopefully that warranty job is, is done now and it's not, it's not going to come back and bite me in the arse, is it? Uh, Pete knows what the crack is anyway. He's like, well, you can't, you can't help it one of them things, isn't it? Which it is, and it's one of them things, isn't it? Don't beat yourself up about it, man. It's just one of them things, isn't it? Hey, we all make mistakes, guys, don't we? I don't know any mechanic that hasn't and never made a mistake. It's just how many you make. <laughs> See you big guys. See you later. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, I will. Say bye, Lils. He said bye. Right now, let's get a bye off Dan. Dan! Catch you on the next one! Yeah, I will! Don't ring me up if that leaks again. <laughs> it's warranted until I drive out this gate. Oh, oh yeah, I warranted. Yay!